Joseph Lyons, Head of Community, West Ham United Community Sports Trust. West Ham United have looked at the way they want to tackle their corporate social responsibility, their CSR. Um, legally, there is no obligation for a company to um, deliver outreach CSR work. Um, however, West Ham have seen that um, it's fundamental to them being the club they are. What the Community Sports Trust does is then delivers that mission around providing and putting back into the community. Basically, the trust is there to provide um, opportunities for young people who may not have had the best or may not have had the uh, opportunities in life so far. We're trying to use the power that football has, that sport has, um, to generate fantastic outcomes. We're trying to get them to seek their own opportunities. If you tell someone to read, they probably won't read. But if you somehow get them to enjoy reading, they'll pick up the book on their own. So I need um, employees that are very passionate, it has to be first, very passionate in what they do. They need to love their, their job. They don't, I don't want them to pick and choose in terms of, oh, that's the fun bit, so I'm going to do that. Actually, they see the whole job in terms of what we're trying to create, which is an outcome at the end, which should be a positive outcome. I need to trust them. I'm not going to micromanage you. You need to be proactive, but be very pragmatic at source. If you see something going on, because of the client group we're, we're working with, if you see something going on, you need to act on it. Probably three main crossroads. Uh, one being um, the devastating realisation that um, I was not going to be a Premier League footballer um, and um, really enjoyed uh, the coaching angle. So I really enjoyed working with young people. Um, I enjoyed the experience I did have playing football and I thought, um, actually, I like to teach. The whole education behind that was going to university, back to university really enjoyed the coaching angle at uh, university and then was offered a, a, a kind of a postgraduate role in America coaching. Um, so that was a lot of fun again for a year straight after uni to um, start a, a kind of what is now a career in sport development. Some people education in terms of your traditional route isn't the best way for them so a more um, hands-on practical uh, on-the-job learning apprenticeship style is exactly what they need. If, you, if you're in secondary school, um, volunteer. You know, really look at your interests, your, look at your hobbies, um, look at your additional qualifications that you can gain. And you see some of the stories of these young people and you think, they're going to go somewhere. They're really going to be as successful as they possibly could be and they're going to fulfil their potential because they're already at that young age motivated to help people outside what some people in terms of finance might see as something that's oh, why do you volunteer you're not earning any money well, actually you're doing it because you're you're earning yourself and you know you're preparing yourself for work so if you know that you for example get nervous or you know everyone gets nervous in situations so if you get nervous or you're you're um, you're low in confidence it's like anything you need to practice so you really need to work with your your peers your friends your family your teachers and say look I need to practice and practice and practice this and prepare you know, don't, don't go into a situation if you're not prepared for what could come your way. So um, the, the worst thing to do is go into a job and not fully understand a, what that job is um, within the interview um, and be a bit, you know, be a bit blasé about it. You need to prepare, prepare, rehearse, make sure you're fully, you know, you're fully in tune with what you think the person at the other side is going to want to hear from you.